And hey there, it's me, my Link, and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. Last time we did Chapter 10, we finally rescued, we got, we got to rescue Maria and finally recruited Minerva. So now we're going to try to find the next few White Wings. And so that we can, uh, you know, team up with them. Have, have more units, basically, yeah. So anyway, next we're going to be going, this time we're going to be going to Norda Market. Oh, yeah, we also uh, reclassed uh, Daros last time. Now he's a badass mercenary. And, oh yeah, uh, something I forgot to mention for other perks of the for the online shop items being in the game, the Polax was uh, an item that you get when it come, when you use that patch. And as, same for the Wu Dao that Athena came with, because normally she just comes with an iron sword. You get to see another little, another item coming from there. It's actually a pretty special item. Tired from many long battles, Martha and Malik arrived at last in Arcanea, Princess Nina's mother country, mother kingdom. Past the mountains lay the royal palace, known to some as Millennium Court, and within its walls awaited many treasures and captives the enemy had taken. With each step, Martha drew nearer to one of the great waypoints on his journey. There you go. No before map dialogue, just go right into the map. We got a lot of enemies here. Elysian Whip. We'll be talking about that once we get it. We got a Spirit Dust there as well. Here's a pretty much a boss. Kozen. The mannequin. He's not on a fort. He does move. He comes. He drops a, an energy drop, which increases the attack by two. So I'm I'm gonna want that. Getting And we get a new enemy type. Ballistician. They have ballistas that pretty much uh, attack far range. And there's even a face one right here, which we're gonna talk about once we're able to recruit him. We gotta do something special for him. Anyway, um, I able also from the last time. That, that was cool shit. Uh, should keep them all here because it doesn't matter, matter right now. Uh, What was items I got last time that I need to sell, right? Uh, let me check. So we got physics stuff. I oh, yeah, with the long ball. I'm gonna give that to uh, someone. I'm give it to Gordon. Gordon with the long ball. Almost there he's being two sword boys. Can't fucking win it. So I'm gonna give a steel sword to you. You're gonna be able to potentially use it soon. You're gonna be able to use it soon. Anyway, Minerva. Yeah, I'm probably not really gonna use you. I kind of already have the team I want planned out. Yeah, this, this is it pretty much. I can just uh, take out Maria and brought everyone that I want to. Nina, soon the palace will be in sight. I know this can't be easy for you. When the palace fell, many, many good Arcanians were killed. The royal family, my family were. Their bodies were hung before the gates as an example. I cannot unpaint that vivid picture of my parents grotesquely changed. I feel as though I should cry, Mark, or scream, but no tears come, and I cannot chase away the sadness and rage. I cannot change the past. I can only shape the future. Lead away, Mark. I am ready. Take me home. And she is not playable, sadly. I wish... Honestly, they should have made Nina playable. Because even though in the original she isn't... At least have her be playable here. That would have been cool to have her playable here. This is a sage, that would have been nice. No, why am I moving you guys? I don't really need to move you guys right now. I guess keep you guys down here, deal with what's gonna be coming. Yeah. That needs gonna work out, yeah. Gotta head toward the village in the south. Okay, 
right now. I'm not even going to here. Uh, that door is still going to move out of sight from me. Uh, you can't, Gordon, so you stay on the edge of his uh, movement. So you can potentially uh, not even go after the other guys in this. Could be giving decent experience to Gordon, but it's fine. He's gonna move Wendell out the way. Well, well I guess not moving him out of the way. Javelin on you. Fuck off, Morris. Javelin. Javelin. Fire tone. Javelin. There you go. Perfect. There you go, man. Got that you fucking do shit. Okay, level up for Wendell. What are you getting at? Nothing. Magic can rise. Okay, yeah. That's a decent level up. How am I gonna... Oh, you either won't feel it either, so I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, put this field lance back in the convoy. Elysian Web, if you guys remember from, um, from my... If you guys ever played the, the, the GBA games, is a promotion item for Peg Pegasus Knights. So... It's an, it's a, it was an online item only. You can never get it in the main game. It's pretty much an easter egg. But nothing was changed about it from like the other promoted class. So, um, Ciro-san decided to be like, Hey, you know what, um, we're gonna change it to be like how it is in Fire Emblem 12. So we're gonna see that class once we promote next turn, because yeah, we're, gonna just we're just gonna promote next turn. Yeah, I just, I just want mine. I, I just want mine. My C rank swords. Stay on my with fucking blisters. Hakuma, um, you go. Hakuma. Uh, Garos, you go here. Oh yeah. I got a physics staff equipped. I love, I love the physics staff as well. Just infinite range. I love the infinite range that stays. It's just so hilarious to have that around. Okay, let's see. Daros. Maybe we'll double this guy, right? Nope. I think you're like one speed off from doubling that guy. And I think you can. I'm so close to killing this guy, Rad. Doros, so you know, can't, can't, can't get that village, can't get that village. And now I guess I'm gonna... Oh, perfect. Bring him down to 1 HP and then... 5 points! Anyway, now we can promote Cheetah. She turns into a Falcon Knight. Falcon Knight. Now, the other promotion is technically better for her, but I just feel like using this one for this run. Maybe when I play hard, when I play hard five, I'm definitely using the other promotion. The other promotion. Four HP, two strength, two magic, two skill, two speed, two defense, three res, two movement. Now I can use swords. It says lance there. I don't know why it does that. You can already use lances. Maybe like a weird little glitch or something. It says you can use swords, which I'm not gonna really. I mean, I might give her just to. I'm gonna probably like try trading, training up her sword rank, but it probably won't matter. So I'm gonna have a higher speed cap, and uh, I think a lower strength cap than Draco Knight. Which doesn't matter, I'm not, I'm not gonna cap out strength with Sheeta. I'm really not going to, and it doesn't really matter, because Sheeta still like destroys things she comes across anyway. Let's come here. Rad, you can come here as well. Gordon's gonna stay here. Take care of business. A lot of marks down there. We're gonna visit one of those houses as well. It's one of those regular houses. I know which one we have to visit. Or 
and we'll probably end up visiting them all just to see all the dialogue. Uh, also, with, with these um, blisses, they have like I think five different, four different weapons. They have the stone hoist here, which is just a lot of unga bunga strength, but has low hit. Thunderbolt targets res, and the arrow spate is like a normal ass bow. So keep them out, keep it out of range of flyers like she does. To, uh, well, I guess I'll chip him with Gordon and then Iron Sword with Mathis. This one isn't it. This here is Nora, Arcanate is closest market time. Drop by the armories and vendors if you're interested in rare goods. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to go in there so I can get more tones for, uh, for Merrick. Other weapons, I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with, you know, I don't need any other kind of weapon. I'm gonna need Marth down there, though. I'm gonna harden up here. Okay. This is where Darius gets C rank uh, swords. Ah, oh, D rank swords, not C rank. It can take way too long to get C-Rank Swords. Can you double this guy? Do you have enough speed? Nope. Now you leveled up. HP, Strength, Speed, Luck! Oh my god, that's still 20. I think it's 20 defense? 20% speed growth as a mercenary. So that's another lucky speed level up by Riddaros. Now I can double him. I'm gonna... Bye. So close to being able to kill. So close. I can double this guy at the very least with Rad. There you go, Daros. My boy. There you go. I didn't visit that house yet. Oh, that's fine. No, Mark, why did I make you go up a bit? It's kind of stupid of me. Oh yeah, also another thing about ball ballistas, they are very slow, they're never going to double anything, but they are tanky, so... Uh, actually, I have 9 reds. You know what? Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt Cheetah, that's fine. Only the arrows are super effective against fire, so... It's fine. Yeah, 1 damage. Yeah, it's my boy. Mathis. You do good damage, Mathis. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna visit this house. Watch out for ball ballisticians. They can fire their missiles quite a long way. If you see they're using a weapon called an aerospace, move the flies out of there before their wings get clipped. Also, ballisticians have a weapon called the Thunderbolt, which is particularly effective against other ballisticians. Yeah, I think it's, it's yeah, I think it does like effective damage against uh, other ballistas, which is which is pretty good. Wrong moment. Nice Mathis. That's a Mathis moment. Now go down here. A gang of referees have rounded up some Arcanine Falcon and holding them over by the edge of town. What a war that's become that we've gotta be prisoners in our own land. Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna be rescuing those villagers pretty quickly. Anyway, Sheeta, you just you just stay there. Nine fucking res. I, I think you actually lose res when you know as a Draco Knight, unless you have like already zero res. But like, not like it really matters. Sheeta, Sheeta was good against. Is still good against like mages. You can still take mages and their ilk, even when, uh, even when uh, you're, she's a dragon. I'm sick of it. If it ain't the scream to battle your your heroes, the ball and the widows. You should go home to your loved ones if you ask me. I'm gonna bring 
bad up here. But down here, I mean. Uh, there are three ancient weapons known as the Regalia have been passed down through Arcanea the generations the generations through the generations of Arcanea, whatever. Parthia, the bow of flame, Gradivus, the lance that pierces stone, and Mercurius, the spectral sword. Well, only those blessed by the gods may ha lay hands on them, or so it goes. Well, I don't really need to do that much for it, but whatever. Anyway, oh, damn it, can't the house. Um, what is the house next to me? Uh, you can just go back up. Mathis. Yep, still gonna wait it out here. Is anyone else is good. good to go. Gonna have Lena visit this house. This is the, the important house. Not everyone fighting for grass is a bad apple, you know. Take my sweetheart, Jake. He's got a heart of gold, that one. You see him, tell a man is worried sick about him. Of Co course, my, J my Jake won't get no one but the ladies a time of day. That's just the way he is. Yep, so you gotta use a lady. And by that, I mean only Shida. <laughs> because imagine recruiting someone in this game when it isn't marked with, without Shida. Okay. Yeah, what do you want? Broken nose. I heard you were holding some Arcanaeans here against their will. Release them at once. How about I release my fist into your... Ah, munching mannequins! They'll take you an army. Ah, oh, yeah, I gotta get me out of here! I love that one. Munching mannequins. <laughs> Is everyone alright? I know you've been, been through a lot. Go home to your families. And what's wrong, lad? Why don't you go home? Because I have no home to go to. You, you're a girl? Why, why were you dressed as a boy? To hide, sir. My name is Linde. My father is, was Maloa Pontifex. I donned men's garb to escape from Garneth, but no sooner was I away than those, ru than those ruffians grabbed me. So you're Linde. I'm glad you are safe. Princess Nina was worried about you, you know. Well, we're all together now. I promise to keep you out of danger. No, let me fight. With Princess Nina's blessing and the tell my father let me, I can wield aura magic. Let me use it to avenge him. I want to destroy Garneth myself. And here we go. We got ourselves another mage. So here's Linde. She's got the aura tome. It weighs only one? Okay. That weighed more. It's 18 in my tome. It's basically like Merrick's, Merrick's Excalibur, but for women. So it's a cool tome, I guess. Her base stats are meh for this point in the game, even for a mage. She'll still hit decently hard with with the Oratome and this difficulty. A hard five, no. <laughs> She's not a combat unit at all. Her growth rates are as follows: 40% HP, 0% strength, 50% magic, 40% skill, 35% speed, 60% luck, 0% defense, and 15% rise. Overall, a uh, all right unit on on hard one. And just a poopy unit in uh, in hard five. Anyway, uh, get a blizzard tone, get a thunder tone, and I'm gonna get another blizzard tone. There you go. Also gonna go here and get some door keys as well. Anyway, let's see. Um, this. Yeah, all the way here. That's fine. I'm just gonna. I think everyone go up, come here. Everyone should be fine, yeah. He only does 10 damage, so it's not gonna kill anyone here. That will hurt though. Okay, now I'm just gonna use able to chip this guy down for someone. I'm gonna chip him down for... Oh, I was gonna chip him down for Gordon, but Gordon can't reach, so... Uh, so 10 speed, 11 speed. Okay, yeah, you're fine. Stone voice doesn't reach there, so... Merrick time. Merrick actually just one-rounded that guy, so it didn't matter. I use Able, that's fine. Alright then. Let's go around and come back up here. Linde, you're gonna be on shopping duty. So I'm gonna buy a men's staff and two heel staves. And I'll buy three door uh, two door keys actually, because I think I have enough door keys to last the rest of the game now. Right? 
could have warped Doros back up. That's fine. Alright. What are the weapons here? There's just... Okay, steel weapons that I don't really need. And another rapier, but I don't need that either, so... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go back up. There's an, there's an arena here, but I'm not, I'm not gonna be using the arena anymore. It was just that one time for... Uh, ouchie. That's a crit! Uh... Okay, good. I guess he didn't kill, uh, didn't kill him. He, he wasn't able to kill him? Oh my god. Yeah, I should've kept a watch on him. So yeah, I can fucking kill it, bro. Anyway, uh, let's see... Okay, there's, there's Jake's range, so it's fine. Uh, I guess I'll use an iron sword just to train up the rank a, a bit. There you go, that's the Falcon Knight animation. It's a, it's a, it's a nice little animation, I guess. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna... Hmm, what should I, what should I do in that time? I'm gonna go for the bra moment. Not the bra moment, the fucking iron sword. Get a level up on Mathis, HP defense, that's alright I guess. Five points! HP skill. Alright, I guess. That's fine. Uh, 12. No one can double you, so... Uh... Oatmeal. And then... Then I can use Merrick to level up. Eight. And watch out. I think I don't think this, yeah the stone ho stone hoist doesn't kill me. H HP speed and uh, HP magic unlock. And I got a spirit dust. Yeah, 19 damage. Yeah, close to killing me, but not quite. Uh, Doros, you're so close to fucking D rank. I guess. Uh, actually, I'm gonna use a physics staff just cause I wanna heal up April with this. Yeah, there you go. Now, uh, Linde is capped. Magic and luck. Hoping for another point of res. Oh yeah, 15 res is still good. Anyway, now the cabs are gonna start moving. Watch out for that one. Uh, so anyway, let's see here. American luck here. Who's gonna tank those guys? Um, honestly, I think like this, I can I can tank them pretty well. I can even have Gordon here. Um, yeah, actually. I'm gonna just do it like this. Do it like this. See what happens. Math is gonna take oh nine damage. Does doesn't even doesn't even hit. Because math is good. Math is good! Oh my god, dodging 82. Math is good. They're all attacking math is because Mathis can't double anything right now. Even with speed wing, can't double. Oh yeah, Jacqueline. Oh jeez. I think, oh yeah, I can just go right in front of Jake like that, and I can, I can't, and I can't get hit by the arrow spade, so, that's good, at the very least, no one else can reach there, yeah, actually, no, no, uh, you can, you can actually just talk to Jake right now, I'm gonna do just that, hey, uh, Ballastation of Crust, are you the one they call Jake, hail yourself, sugar, what's a fetching lass like you doing out here on the battlefield, how, and how do you know my name? I'm Sheeta of Talos, an Arcanian woman by the name of Anna told me about you. Really? Anna mentioned me? In a good way, right? She's very worried about you. She wants to know why such a good man is fighting for the wrong side. Wrong side? Hmm. We'll have to admit, I'm not too keen on kicking Arcanea while they're down. 
And then why not fight for RPA instead? Help us defeat Rust and Dolor and set the world right. Well, I don't know. I don't think it's that simple. Hmm. Anna would love love you for it, I'm sure. She would. Hmm. Alright, you win. I'm doing it for, but I'm doing it for Anna, just to be clear. Okay, there we go. Now I'm like burn, burn till your blood boils and your flesh cooks. There you go. Anyway, here we got Jake, our, our own ballastation. And ballastations are just fucking amazing. It's like the best, the, like one of the best class in this game. I'm so sad that they weren't in Mystery of the Emblem because it's such such a good, such a good class overall. You know, get to hit things from far, you get access to pretty good weapons, and uh, these weapons are very cheap, so uh, you can forge them quite easily. With like a lot of spending that much money, so Jake's base stats are of course like five strength. That's all. That, like five strength is all that matters for him. I guess the, the skill matters a bit more, but you know, forging, forging hit isn't a bad idea on the on the weapons. So yeah, his hit growth are as follows, although they don't matter much. Forty percent HP, thirty percent strength, zero percent magic, fifty percent skill, twenty percent speed, fifty percent luck, twenty percent defense, and zero percent res. Yeah, just I love Jake. So much. <laughs> Ballastician fight. They don't they don't like attack each other back. It's it's weird that they're not programmed like that. But whatever I guess. Five coins! There we go. And that's uh, you can attack uh, hard in there, that's fine. There you go. B rank in bows. Now I can use silver bows. Guy with Merrick. I'm trying to think. I guess I'll uh, jab on this guy. Fine game. You gonna be like that? Math is gonna kill you. So yeah, really, Jake's the boss of this chap. Well, no, he's fucking c cousin. That's his boss. The fucking boss of this chapter. Stupid. I don't think. Uh, I guess I give this kill to Rad. And, uh, use thunder on this guy. Oh, actually, that was kind of a bad idea. I might lose one. Never mind. I'm good. I also missed a hit. That's fine though. Anyway, I guess. I'll give Merrick the uh, Spirit Dust because, I mean, who else is really gonna use it? It's like, Wendell, he's, he's fast enough for things, so, um, uh, this, uh, Wendell, I'm not really using it as a combat unit. He's kind of just there for extra, so extra staff, uh, extra staff support. There we go. Red, Jesus Christ. Calm down, Sheeta. Good job. Yeah, I'm really good kill oh yeah, America talked to Linde, so um, I guess I could do that, or I can give the kill to someone. I think I'm gonna give the kill to uh, to my boy Rad. Yeah. Emperor Medius, I have failed you. Go level up for Rad. HP, speed, and luck. Hey, 15 speed. That's pretty good. Got the energy drop. Don't know who I'm gonna give it to. Probably Gordon. I love Gordon. Actually, yeah, I'm going to give it to Gordon. No, not the Firestone. And then get back the Longbow. Ten Strength! There we go. And now there's 
no other enemies. It's just seizing the throne. What's left to do? So yeah, that was a very, very, very easy chapter. <laughs> Right there. I'm Pato Linde, I guess. Linde, I presume my name's Merrick. Prince Marth, Prince Marth asked me to look after you. Not that we majors need any help looking after ourselves, mind you. Oh, you studied magic? Yes, in Kadeen. Kadeen, the school? My father was a teacher there a long time ago. The school is beautiful. Was beautiful. Until Garnoff took over and changed everything. I was blessed with wonderful teachers and found a healthy mix of friends and rivals in the other aspiring majors. It sounds nice, I suppose, but my father was the only teacher and friend I ever needed. I'm sorry, Linde. Don't be, I'm tough like my father, too. Let's talk about you, Merrick, and about Katie, and I've never been to a school before. How do they teach? Oh, shit, I forgot to use that. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, Marth can also talk to Jake. And the only problem with ballisticians are, um... Are, like, they have four movement, but, you know, you know. Who cares about four movement? Who cares about movement when you have, you know, all those fucking, uh, all that fucking range of attacks? Anyway, ten magic. Now it can kill, uh, plenty. Now it can kill plenty of things that happen to work. But anything. Anyway, talk. Are you the Altaian Prince? The name's Jake. I just showed up. Many thanks, Jake. You know, I've been to Altair once. Have you, uh, ever paid a visit to the Ecrit Say Opshe there? The what? The secret shop. Sheesh. Did you, didn't you know there are hidden shops all over the continent? Well, there's one in Altea, too. Oh, really? Where exactly? If I told you, it wouldn't be much of a secret, now would it? The entrance is disguised, so you can't find it. Disguised? And they don't let anybody in without a VIP card, so don't expect to waltz through the door by accident. But how do they stay in business? Who knows? Last I heard, they were desperate for customers. Then maybe they should reopen as a tell your friend shop. Huh, <laughs> very clever. Anyway, you should drop by when you're in the neighborhood. But I don't know. Oh, never mind. Well, I'm not going to seize right now because I actually... For the people that are like super close to leveling up, or for Daros just to get D rank, I'm gonna go back to the arena. I know I said I wasn't going to use it, but I kind of feel like it. I just don't. It's only for Daros thing, actually, because everyone else is leveled up normally. So you know what? I'm gonna use a warp staff. <laughs> it's a kind of a bad use of a warp staff, I know, but I don't. It's like. I, I got another one soon. I think next chapter I get I get the next uh, warp staff. I found on the crit. Anyway. Oh, nice crit. I mean, I'm just gonna give him that extra level because he had quite a bit of experience from there. HP strength. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, there we go. Now we can. Uh, now we can end this chapter. Good news, Nina. We've wrested control of the gates from the enemy. Then we've won. Not quite yet. We can enter the palace, but Dolor still holds strong inside, the, inside our walls. Also, a number of knights are being held captive inside. Loyal soldiers who fought for their kingdom and their people. Marth, I wish to free them as soon as possible. I understand. We should strike now, then, before enemy reinforcements can arrive. I believe we have a good chance. Thank you, Martha. As always, I am counting on you. Worry no more. Well, yeah, that's it for this episode. This was a very short chapter, admittedly, but like... We st it was still fun, nonetheless. We got two more units, one unit that I love a lot. We got mo we got Daros' D rank in swords, and we just got more level ups on units. And we, we also uh, promoted Sheeta. We have quite a few promotions left to go through, but we're going to be getting them like... Zatuf like this. Why do I say Zatuf like fucking Jewel? Anyway, see you guys next time for a, a long chapter, I guess, yeah. Bye.